hello, this video is to show you the skill of central line dressing, change, and cap change. As always, when you enter a patient's room, you want to knock on the door and introduce yourself. You want to identify the patient with two forms of identification, and then we want to assess their needs, assess their pain, and ensure that all of that is taken care of prior to beginning any procedures. We always want to verify the physician's orders prior to beginning as well. For the central line dressing change, we will start with clean gloves. We always want to apply a mask to the patient or have them turn their head away if they're unable to tolerate that. And we apply a mask to ourselves to keep this as sterile as possible during the change. You want to have your sterile supplies. You want to have your alcohol prep pads, your normal saline. You'll have three syringes and you'll have three new caps to place on your central line during the procedure. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get my caps ready. So I will open my packaging for each cap and then I'll open my normal saline and without contaminating anything within the package, I'm gonna open the cap, twist this on and I'm going to go ahead and flush these and have these ready, leaving them inside the package and maintaining sterility during the rest of the procedure. I'll need a new bio patch and I'm gonna go ahead and open that as well. I'll need three chloropreps and I will open these away from me, leaving those inside the package to keep them sterile. I'll need a new tachyderm and I will open that away from me as well. And then I will need three alcohol infused caps to put on the end during the procedure. With my clean gloves on, I'm going to go ahead and remove the patient's old dressing. We will pull the tachyderm off inward towards the patient's site and then slowly remove that and discard. We will discard our gloves, cleanse our hands, and at this point, we want to don sterile gloves. After I have my sterile gloves on, I'm going to um, go ahead and get ready to begin the procedure. One hand will be clean, one hand will be sterile. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bile patch with my non-dominant hand and I'm going to discard that. I'm going to take my sterile dominant hand and grab my first chloroprep. I'm going to pop this and I'm going to cleanse the sites in an upward circular motion like a rainbow and then I'm going to toss this and I'm going to get my second chloroprep with the sterile hand and I'm going to clean underneath the site going in a circular motion in an upside down rainbow and I'm going to toss this this time. Next, I get my last chloroprep and I'm gonna use this one to clean the lumens from the proximal to the distal side, all the way down in one smooth swipe. I will discard this and allow it to dry. As it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and as it's dry, once it's dry, I'm going to apply my new vital patch with my sterile hand. After applying my bio patch, I will apply a new tagoderm. I will date, time, and initial. And now I'm ready to change the caps on my lumens. With this procedure, I want to open my alcohol prep and I'm going to start with removing the cap, the old cap and tossing, and I'm going to cleanse the site for 15 to 20 seconds vigorously prior to applying the new cap. Once that is clean, I will get my new cap and maintain the end of that sterile and apply. 
I'll unlock my lumen and then I'm going to flush and pull back to check for patency and then I'm going to continue to flush the entire 10 mLs towards the last one to two milliliters I will clamp while I'm adding positive pressure. This cap is now changed. I will do the exact same procedure with each lumen on the catheter. The last part of cap change is applying your alcohol infused cap. I will take a new alcohol swab. I'm going to cleanse the outside of this hub just in case to ensure that it did not get contaminated during the procedure. And I will open my package and apply my new alcohol infused cap. If ordered, I would apply or um, insert heparin, which typically in our case is 2.5 mLs, and you would insert that prior to applying this cap if needed and if ordered. If the patient has it, fluids infusing, we will just restart those fluids as ordered. I would remove my gloves, decontaminate my hands, um, assess the patient, ensure they're fine, remove their mask, and I will document the entire procedure and ensure that everything is good prior to leaving the room. And that is doing a central line dressing change and cap change.